formal statement. I'll take this opportunity to express my gratitude to His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta, who, as most of you are aware, yesterday did make changes in his cabinet. And I was privileged one more time to have an opportunity to serve the people of Kenya in cabinet in a different docket. And so as I perhaps perform this function today, it's not on, lost on me that the work to implement the agenda on UHC is one that will require our commitment. And as I move and I prepare to move, I'll also be looking forward to your continued support working in the area of water and sanitation and irrigation is important as an enabling function towards universal health coverage. And therefore, I want to take this opportunity to appreciate and thank His Excellency the President for giving me yet another opportunity. I wish to take this opportunity as well to extend my deep appreciation to the President for the time that he has given me to serve in this very critical docket. I also wish to thank the President for appointing one of our, uh, our own, uh, Dr. Masse Mwangangi, to the position of Chief Administrative Secretary. And I'm very proud that indeed in the time that we have served with Dr. Masse, her leadership has been noted. Hence, the need, the fact that she is here also representing not just the sector, but also the young people of this country. I will go to the formal presentation, and I wish to recognize His Excellency the President, who, upon assumption of office during his second term, made a commitment to deliver affordable health care for citizens, and he set the timeline for the year 2022. As a consequence, the ministry launched a one-year pilot program in December 2018 uh, for UHC in four counties. And this was in order to provide lessons that would inform the scaling up of UHC at the country level. The approach to the implementation of UHC pilot exercise was centered on the strengthening of health systems with very big emphasis on the community health services and primary health care systems at large. Was also aimed at ensuring availability of essential commodities and basic equipment in health facilities, as well as removal of user fees in levels four and five, in addition to the lower levels. A total of 3.9 million, sorry, billion shillings was invested in the four pilot counties, and this was implemented yet again through an intergovernmental participation agreement framework, which was highly negotiated. The pilot program, which happened in Machakos, Kisumu, Isiolo, and Nyeri, has been increased, has seen us witness the increase of utilization in services, ranging from 20 up to 50% across the four counties. And this increase demonstrates the use um, of health services or access of health services by most Kenyans who oftentimes would not access health care because of their financial constraint. The plan for scale-up of UHC, therefore, has been informed by lessons from this pilot exercise, as well as the implementation of county UHC programs and initiatives in other countries, counties, specifically Makweni. Several joint planning and appraisal meetings with governors and county executive committee members for health of the UHC pilot as well as independent evaluations have been undertaken by development partners bringing forth the following key lessons. One, that indeed primary health care is able to meet a majority of health needs and hence focus in this area will offer us the best investment approach for UHC. Number two, full implementation of community health strategy is critical for preventive and promotive health services. UHC number three will require investment in all building blocks of health, including human resources, medicines, health governance and leadership, health financing, and service delivery. Number four, that efficient service delivery will require activation of responsive 
referral mechanisms. And number five, that community participation is critical to the success of UHC. Finally, sustainability of UHC is pegged on utilization of a financing mechanism that funds health inputs and leverages on cross-subsidizing risks. This is the best, um, and this is, will be best employed through social health insurance uh, mechanism. Colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, given the lessons that we have learned during the pilot exercise, and the multiple consultations between the national and county governments, a number of key areas have been prioritized for investment in the scale up. These include, but are not limited to the following one, to progressively move towards increasing the human resource for health to enhance access to health services, the two levels of government have committed to recruit additional skilled human resources which will include engagement of the youth through a youth empowerment plan. Two, under the IPA, which we have witnessed being signed today, counties will allocate a minimum of 30% of the respective county budget to health and progressively will go beyond this percentage. And for counties that have met and exceeded this minimum threshold, we will be encouraging you to maintain this, but go beyond as we progress. Number four, the national government commits to supplement county allocations for the supply of essential medicines and medical supplies, which include lab commodities to be made available to public health facilities in Kenya through the Kenya Medical Supplies Authority, 